Leaders don't leave it at a list. Okay, I'm not going to upset people, I hope, um, and I hope I'm not going to confuse people because writing a list is excellent. It really is. It gets the thinking out of your head so you can remember what you were doing and you can get on with all the things that needs need to be done and everything else that needs your attention. It's excellent first strategy. Are you great at lists? I am. It's a positive. It's the first t step in a time management strategy. But lists make you feel bad. Lists make you feel guilty. You look at your list and all the things that need to be done, and the list causes anxiety. It causes stress. This goes against everything we learn. Isn't it the right thing to do? It is. However, and I say however, not but this time. For lists to work, they have to go beyond the list. It is a busy time of the year. The rubber is hitting the road in schools in the southern hemisphere. It is winter. The deep learning term is there. And in the northern hemisphere, it is their end of year extreme mode. Let's get into action and strategy mode. It takes effort. It takes time and focus. All I can say is please, please, please make the time. It will help you keep focused and sane. It will help you stop thinking and just allow you to do. Really, truly. So let's take you through these nine steps plus four more. 13. Lucky for me. Um, let's stick at nine plus four. Write your list. Put everything on it. Home jobs, sports, work, shopping, groceries, holidays, all those things you need to do. You know, going to the pharmacy, going and paying a bill. Then write the end date on the list for each activity. When does it have to be completed by? Number three, add how much time you believe each task will take. 30 minutes, 3 days, 12 hours, whatever it is. Number four, find a calendar that works for you, digital or otherwise, but it needs to be one that goes day by day and is broken into time slots. Put each activity into the calendar as your due today task or action. So on the day it's due, make sure it's written into the calendar. Then add any regular or recurring meetings that you have or events, things like Every day, Monday to Friday, I will do yoga at 5 a.m. I will have an HR meeting at 9.30 every Monday. Um, I will be at the gym five days a week at 6 p.m. I'll do my Italian lessons three days a week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 p.m. Whatever it is. Add this at the time you will start and block out the time that these activities will take in the calendar. So if the gym's going to take an hour and a half, block an hour and a half out at that time. Colour code each of these, any colour you like. But for example, red for work, blue for the gym, green for Italian, pink for the holidays. Just add colour. Then take each task on the list one by one and place these into your calendar. For larger tasks that might take three days, work these out and how you want to do this. Every day for big blocks of time or in smaller chunks of two hours, you know yourself and how you work best and how you'll maximize the output time. Get methodical. Take each task and drop it in. Make sure your tasks have enough detail too. Vague won't give you direction. Number eight, as you do this, don't forget lunch and blank spaces, white spaces in your diary, so that you have the time to respond to things, to things that pop in. An oversubscribed diary or calendar can cause as much anxiety as a list, and you don't want to become the calendar warrior who doesn't have time for people. Number nine, then we feel the anxiety begin to, to subside. 
it physically begins to drain from your shoulders and your head. Your breathing will slow. From here, all you have to do is pick up your calendar and run with it. You look tonight and say, what am I doing tomorrow? Read over it and there it is. But there are a couple of additional things to add to this process. It's the plus four. Number one, at the end of each day, look at what you have done and then the things that you have missed. Take today's misses and put them into your calendar somewhere. Make them fit for tomorrow or another day where they will get done. Be committed to doing this at the end of each day and you will go home feeling a whole lot better. If you've started a new list today, I use my pen and I write on my hand. Then take the time to run through that process that we've outlined from 1 to 9 above and add these to your calendar too. At the end of the week, take the time to run over the calendar and give yourself credit for the week. Recognise what you have achieved. And then finally, go over the week ahead, checking that things still fit, checking that you've got the list loaded, and then launch into your new week. It's hard to start with, but you feel so much better when you do. You feel like you're in charge, that you are taking the lead and you are in control. It truly works. It's been a strategy that has served me well in the past 20 plus years. No one taught me. I had to work this out myself. Leadership is about strategy. Have a shot.